Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you saw from the title, we are gonna be doing this like galaxy thing all over my face and my chest. So let's just get started. So to start off, I am gonna be taking the Snazaru water-based face paint in the color purple violet and kind of just putting that all over my chest. I just took that on a flat top kabuki brush. I'm pretty sure this is the Sigma F80 brush. Actually, no, now that I'm looking at it, I think it might be the Morphe brush. I'm not 100% sure, but just take any flat top kabuki brush. You can take a painter's brush. You can take anything you want. I just found this to be the easiest to get the most opacity and obviously to do the most surface area all over my chest and my face. And right here, I'm just taking the face paint and I am just kind of drawing where I want the face paint to stop. I will be doing like a James Charles blank canvas type thing where my skin is like dripping into the galaxy super super cool i know now i am taking the color pale blue also by snazaru i actually really really like this color and i am just taking that and kind of doing the same exact thing that i did with the purple i'm pretty much gonna do this with all the colors it's kind of self-explanatory and it's super easy to do and I swear this video only took me like an hour and a half to film which is kind of unheard of while filming a video but yeah I'm just taking the light blue and kind of placing that random spots all over my neck just to kind of fill in some space haha <laughs> get it fill in some space Now I am doing the same exact thing that I did with the other ones and I am just going in with the Snazaru face paint in the color dark blue. This blue was the perfect blue. Again, I will leave everything linked down below that I used. I got pretty much everything off Amazon, but this blue was like the perfect space blue. Okay guys, so this is the pink that I'm doing. I would have done it a little bit differently next time. Um, I did not try this video before I filmed it. I kind of just like went in, but I would have left like skin open and put the pink straight on my skin instead of on the blue and the purple because it ended up kind of just like getting lost and you lost a lot of that pink color. So next time I would have done it a little differently, but this is what we're working with so again with this pink you're just going to kind of put it anywhere that you haven't put other colors and kind of just blend everything together as you can see i was getting a little frustrated just a little frustrated and i kind of just started blending everything together i wanted to go for more of like an abstract galaxy type feel is what i was kind of going for but everything kind of just blended together <laughs> when I was, I, I was struggling a little bit, but later on you'll see that we'll get that like abstract feeling back. But right now I'm kind of just like seamlessly blending the purples and the blues and the pinks all together just so that we have like a clean canvas, I guess I would say. And then again, I'm going in with the pink and kind of just brightening up some places just because I wanted some depth in the sky. I didn't really want it to be straight blue. I wanted purples and pinks in it. That's why I got the purples and pinks. Now I am taking the black and this is kind of where you can just go crazy because obviously the black is obviously what's going to make the galaxy look like a galaxy. So I kind of just took, I took an elf stippling brush and I stippled the black all over my body and then I kind of went in my fingers and just tapped it out, kept going in with the brush, kept going in with my fingers and it kind of just kept going until pretty much everything was covered in black of course you want to leave some of the blue and the purple and the pink showing but um you kind of just want to surround all of those colors with the black just to make it look more like milky way-ish 
like I said, I was going for more of an abstract type galaxy, so I didn't want everything to be blended perfectly. I wanted those like stippling motions all throughout my face. That's why I used a stippling brush. You can, of course, use a kabuki brush if you want everything to be like seamlessly blended, but for this part, I really, really liked the way it looked when it was all like kind of broken up. Just so that I kind of blended it with the background, I probably wouldn't do this if I, you know, didn't wasn't filming a video. I just painted like the back of my neck and my shoulders, just that black, just so that I blended in with the background while filming this video. But I probably wouldn't have done that if I actually wore this out. And now I'm doing the same exact thing with the white. I'm just going in with an e.l.f. stippling brush and kind of stippling that random spots as well this is where like the highlights come out and kind of where you start to see the galaxy come to life as i said before i wanted those blues and those pinks to stand out and they were kind of getting lost within the black and the dark blue and everything everything was kind of just blending together so like i said going with the abstract galaxy theme i kind of just took a small painting brush and just put you know, obviously you guys can see right here, it's kind of self-explanatory, but um, I just like put blotches of that blue, that really light pale blue, and that pale pink kind of all over my skin just to kind of make the highlights really stand out. I really, really wanted that pale blue and that pale pink. Now guys, I am going in with the white and that e.l.f. small stippling brush like I was using before, and I really, really wanted to water down that white snazru paint and this is where you make the stars so i just took the paint and i kind of just splattered it all over my face and my chest you guys can see here what i am doing Okay guys, and for this part right here where I'm doing the stars, I'm kind of just taking a paintbrush and dipping into that snazzery white paint and kind of just like painting kind of crosses all over my body, I guess. Um, you can see this one I didn't like, so I took it away. But I kind of just took the face paint and kind of just drew stars all over my face and my neck just to make it obviously look like a galaxy. For some reason, when these dried, they dried pink. I'm not 100% sure why. I didn't really mind it just because I was just taking a photo and a video. And as you can see right here, I tried, like I saw that it was turning pink. So I tried a NYX white eyeliner, the same one that I have underneath my eyebrow. But that one still turned pink. I'm not 100% sure what was going on, but I didn't really mind it. I thought it actually kind of looked a little cool once I was done with it. It looked like pink stars. Who doesn't like pink stars? Okay, so for my favorite part is the glitter. I would have used regular glitter, but the regular glitter, like Michael's glitter, but it was down in my basement and I really didn't want to go get it because there was like a hurricane going on outside and I just wasn't feeling it. So I just took this Jeffree Star highlight in the color Ice Cold and just put that all over my chest. The highlight did leave kind of like a hazy effect. I don't know if you guys can tell here, but it kind of got a little hazy. But to be honest, I didn't really mind it. I still thought it was absolutely stunning and it's just sparkly and I love sparkly. And right here, this is where the James Charles blank canvas thingamajig comes into play. I wanted my skin to look like it was dripping into the galaxy because I felt like something was missing and I felt like it was that. So I just took my foundation and I put it on my skin in drips. I didn't actually love the way this turned out. So I ended up taking a Mayron 3D gel and kind of put that over where I did the drips originally just to make it stand out just a little bit more, just because I wasn't super happy with just like the 2D flat on my face effect. So I just ended up taking that Mayron 3D gel and I kind of just went over that later on. You will see me do that.
and this is where I did the 3D Mehron face paint. Again, I will link everything I use down below. This was kind of hard to work with just because it wasn't really dripping where I wanted it to drip, but you know, it is what it is. It's just dripping skin. It doesn't need to be perfect. So yeah, guys, this is pretty much the end of the video. Um, I really liked the way this makeup turned out. I was like surprised because I thought I was going to do this a few times before I actually was like happy with the look in the video, but I only had to do it once and it literally only took me maybe an hour and a half. I think I watched one movie that was like an hour and 27 minutes long and I probably went like 10, 10 minutes over it. Like I was extremely surprised how fast this video was but anyways guys thank you guys so so much for watching this video i really really appreciate it and i really really hope that i will see you guys in my next one <laughs> bye guys bye.